the teachers are supportive and they don't let you stop until you do it and they're encouraging. I've been liking the music here, that's one thing that I've always loved here. Um, the maths they've really helped me with because I wasn't good at maths to start off with, neither with literacy, but now I've, what, I've built my confidence and I think it's really helped. I was always really bad at maths and I was below my group. So now I started working even harder and I got to a top group and it was also reading. I used to be quite behind and now I'm two years ahead of what I needed and I got the highest scaled score in my reading stats. If you get stuck, you don't need to worry or panic about what the teachers will say because they're just there to support you and all the teachers do make your work very enjoyable so it's more memorable so you can remember a lot of things. I have a variety of different things that I love. I love maths, science, I love every single topic because I just find it fun because all the teachers put so much effort to make it fun that it just makes us learn better. I like that the teachers never let us fail, they just always help us and make sure we never give up. I love all the things that they do here, the trips that they do. You've got trips down to the beach, you know, and off to Wookie Hole and they're not boring school trips like we used to have when we were little. They're really interesting and educational. The teachers are lovely. I have a child who's autistic and the support I've had for him is phenomenal. All his teachers from year one right up to now have been really supportive. He has one-to-one, -one, um, you know, and he's flourished really well. He's advanced in his reading. He's always winning competitions and stuff. He's, he's done really, really well. I'm learning on the job all the time. Um, the other teachers around them always give me different ideas. They can take ideas from me as a new teacher. And it's very organised, there's lots of different resources and there's always somebody that you can, you can get help from if you need it. And yeah, it's just a really good team. We believe in learning and it's all about for the children. The children at the centre of everything we do with support by the school and the parent working together. It's a very much a community school and we ensure that our children are able to be polite. We have three very simple rules, say kind things, do kind things and be kind. And if everybody in the world did that, we'd be a better place. However, the children know that's what our rules are. And we have, for the last Ofsted, we're outstanding in behaviour and safety. The vision is about the holistic approach to the whole child. So although we've got exams and we've got SATs and we've got phonic tests and we've got early years goals to achieve, it's all about what we do for the children. So we, our, our vision is to be the best we can be, our best better, and that's, that's our mantra. That's our, how we live our, our rules throughout the school. I joined the school uh, on a maternity cover, which was only a very short cover, and the parents wrote to the governors and said they'd like to keep me. So I've stayed for 23 years. I've looked at, at other schools and I haven't found any that really pull at my heartstrings as much as Barton Hill does. I feel like the children here and the pupils here all have superb relationships with each other, very supportive, uh, and it's a, it's a constant challenge, which I really love. From the minute the children step through the gates, this is the curriculum, this is what they're experiencing, and everything's designed to make the children feel as if they can achieve. Um, and even those children that come through the gates and perhaps they've got barriers, those barriers are never seen as an excuse or a obstacle towards achievement. It's just a fact of life and it means that everyone's going to have to work in partnership together to work that little bit harder to make sure that what we know is possible can be achieved and I think that's what we do and I think we've worked quite hard to encourage the children to relish the struggle of learning really so that they understand that to get to those rewards they will have to go through that slightly uncomfortable phase where they're not sure and things aren't easy but I think children at all levels will experience that whether they've got barriers to their learning or whether they're more able children who just are very used to being right and um, 
you know, struggle sometimes with risk taking. So overcoming that struggle, I think, is, is, is a key element towards children realising their potential. I love teaching because not all children think that they can be good enough sometimes. I went to school personally and thought, I'm not going to do very much in my life. And I think some children think that about themselves. So really, this place here really pushes children. It allows them to see their full potential. We have great links with universities to inspire them. I know that um, next year we might be possibly having an um, experience taking children, year six children, to go and see what universities like to inspire and engage them. Um, we have a lot of links with our community. Um, so we've had lots of people come in and work with our children and also globally, um, so we have e twinning so we've Skyped a lot of people and that's allowed um, the children to think, oh, actually, that's quite interesting, I would like to explore that and they've never thought of that before, that's a job that they might like to do, so they're, how, they might say, Mr Ellis, how do I get to do that, what do I need to do and we're here to be able to go, this is what you need to do, let us provide that curriculum for you and to them it's kind of like irresistible because that's what they want, they're here to learn quite eager, that's what they want to achieve. The sort of educational provision that the children get at this school is above and beyond. I mean, I came and I was just completely struck by it when I first arrived at this school. There was so much given to these kids and with the two teacher approach, the amount of educational resources that they get, the um, provisions for people, premium students, like everything is just above and beyond. The vision is to make our best better, to, to be the best we can, both the teachers and the children and of course for the parents. And if we can ensure that our children are aspirational, I've already been told that one of our year six wants to be in the MP for Torbay, which is a great achievement and actually told Kevin Foster, our MP, that in Parliament last week that that's what she wanted to be. That's marvellous, isn't it? And when children come back, there are doctors and nurses and psychologists and what are going to Exeter University, surely that's an achievement of the 12 years that I've been at this school, that they can come back and say very proudly, that's what we've done. And if we can hand them on to our secondary colleagues, able to do reading, writing and maths and be at national standards, which is what we achieve in our school. And they teach us like really good lessons and when we get something wrong they don't shout at us they just help us find out the correct answer and then we learn better and it's really fun how they teach us well arts help me to express myself in a different form because it's not all about the words it's about how the picture's drawn what I love is like the teachers always support you as much as they can and if you go to give up they help you even more. And as I'm dyslexic as well I get a little bit more help with that as well. I like drama and I like drama because you can just show who you actually are and just have the chance to be able to perform and, and just act and sing which is the things I like to do the most. I like the school because I love the teachers here and I love reading. It's one of my favourite things to do. My mum and dad are both teachers at his school and my mum works in reception and my dad works in year five. Sometimes it's a little bit annoying because he comes here because I have to go home really late. Because I really like my mum coming to this school and working here because I've never had a mum or dad working in a school. The fact that we've got two teachers per classroom, so in Key Stage 2 rather than having a TA and a teaching assistant, we've actually got two full-time teachers so we can work with the children a lot more closely, we can really focus on the support that they need to make sure that it's specific to them. So we're not just focusing on the children who need um, kind of lower ability help, it means we can really drive and push on the children who you know, need that extra challenge just to make sure they really meet their goals, which is a key thing for, for our school, we're all about making sure that they meet their potential um, and making their best best which is obviously part of our school ethos. The national and international dimension is embedded in our curriculum fully. Um, we do lots of work with um, other schools in Europe and in China and in Canada and the collaboration between these schools is brilliant for the children and the teachers alike. Um, 
The learning outcomes of the children has, has clearly improved over the years um, because of these projects that we have with our partner schools and um, the children um, learn about other countries and cultures um, and get a, a sort of global citizenship understanding um, and for the adults involved again we get to work shadow other teachers in other schools in different countries um, which is a good learning experience for us and we also have foreign teachers coming over to us to learn from us so um, it's it's a big thing at our school international work Everybody cares about everybody and everybody wants to be in the school so turnover of staff is very small, um, we don't get much turnover, we want, people want to work with us, um, we train teachers from Exeter and Plymouth universities and it's always a happy school. We actually did a happy video not so long ago and the teachers enjoy having fun together. So outside of school they all join in parties and have a great time as well and I think that's what blends the school together. I think that's really important to me to, net, to, to connect with the children. Um, they know that you know they, they'll sniff out very quickly whether people are genuine or not and actually spending that time getting to know them, talking to them, it makes them feel important. Uh, if I can meet them when they're coming in, I can smile at them, I can change the start of their day, you know, just how they're feeling that moment. Someone cares, someone knows me, someone you know knows my name, has got a special handshake with me or something. Um, I think it makes a really big difference to them. Um, and so that, that relationship, I think, really is probably why I like to know all their names and I like to know little stories about them uh, and seeing them grow all the way through because if you get to know them early on, you, you know, you, they build up right the way through the school, you've seen them grow, it's not just a person going through the school, this is you know, someone you know and you care about and you've seen them properly grow, so that's why I like to. I think children that come to this school um, come to realise and hopefully their families come to realise very quickly that staff are working incredibly hard to find out what makes them tick um, and then we work really hard to find out what's going to motivate and inspire each individual child and then we try and tailor their learning towards developing that special unique aspect of the child and helping them to flourish and grow so that children perhaps who may not even recognise certain things within themselves are allowed to bring those skills and talents through and I think that's quite empowering for them to, to go on the journey right the way through to, you know, from nursery to year six and leave with, with, with talents and ambitions that perhaps they never dared to have. Thank you.